Standard 7 Geography Chapter 10 Human Settlements Try this. Look at the following picture. Find suitable locations for human settlements and show them in the picture. Why were the settlements shown at the specific places? Why should they be located there? Why can't they be located in other places? Can you tell? Observe the pictures given in figures A, B, C, D. Think and answer the following questions. What all can you see in the pictures? What are the familiar features? Which picture shows sparse settlements? Which picture shows agriculture? Which picture shows dense settlements? Which picture shows high-rise buildings? From the following, assign a suitable name to each of the pictures. Rural settlement, tribal hamlet, town, city. Arrange the pictures according to the level of development in the settlements. Geographical Explanation Human settlements flourished at places with favorable geographic conditions, such as availability of water, a conducive climate, fertile land, etc. In the early settlements, the occupations of the people were dependent on the locally available natural resources. This gave rise to separate settlements of people engaged in a particular occupation. For example, people along the sea coast are engaged in fishing. Their settlements became fishing hamlets like Koliwara. Forest dwellers or tribal people use forest produce for their livelihood. They live in forest areas in tribal hamlets, Adivasi Padas. Agriculture is practiced in fertile areas. Farmer families build their houses in or near their fields. These settlements gradually grow bigger. The settlements where the original occupations of the majority of the people are based on natural resources are called rural settlements. Agriculture, fishery, etc. are some of these occupations. With the passage of time, other associated occupations also develop gradually in these rural settlements. As a result, people from surrounding areas migrate and settle there, leading to an increase in the rural population. Houses are built and different facilities are developed for the growing population. Importance of secondary and tertiary occupation increases. The proportion of people engaged in primary occupations declines. This process leads to the transformation of rural settlement into urban settlements. Due to religious, historical, commercial, educational and administrative reasons and also due to tourism, the original settlement may transform into an urban one. If the population and the necessary amenities increase on a large scale, the urban areas grow into metropolitan cities. Can you tell? Observe figure and discuss the following questions. What is the difference between human settlement at A and B? What is the difference between the settlements at B and C? Where do you find less than two houses? In what type of settlement do you live? Make friends with maps. Observe figure and answer the following questions. Name some of the settlements shown in the map. Which of the settlements in the map are in a scattered form? How are the houses in the settlements along the roads arranged? In which settlements are the houses close together? What could be the reason behind this density? Can you now classify the settlements on the basis of these patterns? After considering various settlements, we realize that people settle down in different geographical conditions and 
adopt themselves to the conditions in the region. Patterns of human settlements evolve in accordance with the natural conditions. In this lesson, we are going to study the major patterns of human settlements and the reasons behind them. Geographical Explanation Using the resources from the surroundings, man constructed houses and started living in them. In the modern era of science and technology, people have made a remarkable progress in the construction of shelter. They have even built skyscrapers. Man is thinking of constructing colonies on other planets and their satellites too in future. Settlements have provided man with stability. Rural settlement is the first step towards a stable life in human history. Urban settlements have evolved through the expansion and growth of rural settlements. A certain way of life is preserved in rural settlements. Increase in the population of rural settlements is the beginning of urbanization. Life in urban settlements is more dynamic. There are large-scale economic correlations between rural and urban settlements. The day-to-day -day food requirement of the urban population is fulfilled by rural settlements. Modernization, science and technology lead to transformation in both types of settlements. Think about it. Think about the possible processes that take place during the growth and development of settlements. Make a list of such processes. The types of settlements and the characteristics of their distribution can be described as follows. Scattered settlements In scattered settlements, houses are few and far from each other. Generally, such settlements are found in the areas of high relief, dense forests, grasslands, hot deserts and extensive agricultural lands. Characteristics Distance between scattered settlements can be clearly seen. These settlements have limited populations as in small hamlets, para, wadi, etc. Facilities and services in these settlements are not adequate. As these settlements are closer to nature, they are free from pollution. They depend on the centrally located villages for their day-to-day -day requirements. Nucleated Settlements These settlements are generally close to water sources like brooks, rivulets, rivers, lakes, reservoirs, etc. In the deserts of Rajasthan, we find nucleated settlements near assured sources of water. Fertile plains, transport hubs and mining centers, commercial centers often lead to the development of this type of settlement. Besides these reasons, defense, health education and other social and religious factors can also give rise to nucleated settlements. Characteristics In these settlements, houses are close together. Social services are available in these settlements. As these settlements develop in certain places over certain periods of time, they attain particular shapes. Roads are narrow in the old parts of these settlements. People from different castes, religions, races and ideologies live together in these settlements and hence they have a better social life. Linear Settlements Linear settlements are seen along roads, railways, rivers, sea coasts and in foothill regions, etc. These types of settlements are narrow in shape and they spread along a straight line. Characteristics Houses in these settlements are along a single line. As the settlement grows in the course of time, multiple lines emerge. Roads are parallel to each other. Besides houses, some shops can be seen too. These settlements grow along with the roads. For example, such settlements are found along the coastal tracts 
major rivers and national or state highways in our country. Always remember, factors influencing the location of human settlements. Give it a try. Name the metropolitan cities of India. Identify the type of the settlement where you live. Look for me elsewhere. Standard 3. Environmental Studies. Lesson. Our Village. Our City. Standard 5. Environmental Studies. Part 1. Page 42. Give it a try. Observe the photographs given above. Identify the type of settlements shown here and write about them.